Welcome to Divine Lotus Tarot. I have a message for some of you, okay? Um, the energies that I'm picking up right away is very strong Cancer energy, uh, especially if you have Cancer Venus, Cancer South Node, Cancer Mercury, Cancer North Node, Sagittarius energy, and Gemini energy. So the first part of the message is that I was getting um, was essentially... Um, some of you are going to come into a significant amount of like wealth or um, you're going to come into a significant career. Um, and I feel like your life is going to change drastically. Um, for some of you, you're about to get this new opportunity and you're going to be essentially almost like the first in your family to achieve some status of being the first millionaire, billionaire, trillionaire, gazillionaire, the first doctor, first actor, actress first um therapist first musician first um something in your family you're going you're going to be the first or first business owner or you know very successful business owner in your family um so you're going to be the first in your family and, and just your bloodline essentially to achieve something and i feel like that has been part of maybe your destiny um, but I feel like you're going to see a very drastic change in your life. You're going to get some really good news coming in um, in regards to this. Um, I feel like for a lot of you, this could be for those of you where you have been more solitary. Okay. I feel like for some of you as well, too, um, you're going to be able to see um, all the individuals who had conspired in trying to sabotage you from being able to achieve this either dream job or this dream life or this dream financial status. Okay. Um, you're going to be able to see firsthand, um, it's going to be illuminated to you and made very clear, um, everyone who had a part in trying to essentially sabotage and cause your dis demise, even individuals who were secretly in competition with you, who you either didn't know or never would have thought people who were in competition of you is going to be confirmed for you. People who you already knew that, you know, maybe you had the inclination that these people did not like you or did not mess with you like on that level. I feel whatever this is, is going to be made publicly known okay so that's going to be that i also feel as well too people who would never like respond to you people who were talking about you people who didn't want to work with you before they're all going to be fighting to try to like work with you all of a sudden once you level up let's let's say that's what it is you're going to come into some significant status or stature okay or prominence and all these individuals who maybe it would have been an instance where you may have reached out for these people to like help get help or collaborate with these people, partner with these people, try to work some type of partnership or deal with this person, or you always wanted to work with these people. And these people either never responded to you or they never even considered you. Um, like you're going to have all these people wanting to fight for your attention or just fight for you all of a sudden. Some of you as well, too, once you come into a significant stature um, or prominence or whatever, you're going to be having a lot of suitors who are interested in you as well, too. OK, and I'm hearing just be mindful of that um, because it, it, it's going to be people who maybe like you wanted to work things out with. Let's say it's exes, maybe people who you wanted to work things out or people who did you wrong. All of a sudden, they're going to be trying to beat down your door. You know what I'm saying? Trying to get to you because of this significant um I just feel like it's like prominence that you're going to have like people who didn't take you serious or people who talked down on you or people who didn't want to to um be associated with you you know what i'm saying people who didn't want to give you kudos or or recognition or wanted to sabotage you or wanted to keep you hidden keep your talents hidden um people who were negatively like trying to impact your life in some form or fashion business love wise um your relationships i feel like these people you're going to see all these people's life go into disarray discord these individuals might start fighting each other but you're definitely going to um, be able to see it's going to be illuminated to you these people who did not have your good intentions at heart okay um and even just people who just didn't want to work with you before i just feel like you're going to have your pick of people wanting to um go to bat for you all of a sudden who who initially they didn't consider you um, or initially they were competing with you or initially they were trying to put challenges, roadblocks and obstacles in your life. You're going to see these people's life turn to shambles and you're going to see these people all of a sudden want to be a part of your life. Now, for some of you as well, too, there has been some type of court case that has been going on. You are either involved in this court case or you may secretly 
or, or the secret court case or things that's being kept confidential with this court case could pertain to you in some form or fashion. But I do feel as well, too, especially, like I said, if you are an individual that has Cancer North Node, Cancer Venus, Cancer South Node, or Cancer Mercury, um, I just feel like you're going to be getting vindicated in a situation. There is going to be individuals that are going to jail for some of you. It could be a prominent individual or some of you is going to be several individuals um, that are going to be going to jail. Um, I keep hearing murder as well, too. So this could have involved someone um, who was murdered or someone tried to murder you. OK, um, some of you are aware of this. Some of you may not be aware that this um, transpired or that this was being planned or plotted against you. Um, I feel as well, too, that um, whoever this official person is on this this uh, case, they're not going to be very lenient and they're going to throw the book very hard and harshly at these individuals because it feels as well, too, that whoever these people could be, they could have some type of um air about them where they feel they get some type of privilege or they normally are are privileged in certain circumstances if they've done things before that they usually get off or they usually are able to keep things under wraps or they're able to make things go away well not in this instance and not with this particular case and not with this particular um situation that, or this person who they're dealing with or these people who they're dealing with who are making the decisions in regards to this they're not going to be able to get off okay now i feel as well too when it comes to some of you, um, this is a cancer that has negatively infringed on the career of wounding the career um, reputation and status of uh, Gemini Sagittarius energy. So you, um, I feel like. I feel like when it comes to that situation, there's either a situation where there was a Gemini and a Sagittarius who are actually family members and someone, there could have been a, okay, so for some of you, there's two cancers in a situation. There's an evil cancer or a karmic cancer that has mal intentions, okay, and that wants to continue to cause discord and disharmony and division in a family or a business or some type of situation, and for others of, um, and in that same situation, there is another cancer in a situation who is, um, like I want to say, a positive influence. Okay, this is a someone who could have like turned their life around, and this could be someone who is, um, I feel like they learn from their mistakes. This is someone who believes in karma. This could be someone who's given their life over to like Christ, okay, Jesus Christ or something like that. Um, and I feel like someone's wa just walking more of a path of just being more righteous and just walking in a path of doing the right thing. I feel like this person is really like, once this person started to do that, they started to see that their life has positively impacted. I feel like this, whoever this other cancer is that is more like a, a good influence, they've seen their life positively take off like very quickly from them cutting off being associated with very low vibrational negative influences. This, this good, um, this cancer that embodies this good energy in this situation where there's a situation where there's two cancers, um, one that is ill intent, you know, like vindictive, negative, low vibrational, ghetto. Um, and then the, I keep wanting to say angelic. There's another cancer energy or person here who's a cancer and they're more angelic. And I'm just going to call it what I hear. Th this person is more angelic. So maybe this is a person, like I said, they, they could have easily been influenced by negative people around them before, but this person is walking in their truth now and they're embodying more of an angelic energy. And I feel like this person is actually honest and true about who they are um this person could have changed their life very quickly but this person is actually like they're genuine like if this person is like very devout with christ in their life i mean this i feel this person really is sincere and genuine about just moving forward and having a better life because i feel like this person has realized like how karma works and this person could also realize that karma comes very quickly to them specifically or that this is just not the path that they're supposed to be walking and or they just bear witness to other people getting negative karma and they're like they don't want to be a part of that they want to they want to do the right thing and they know that it's in their best interest to just walk on the right path so they don't have to continue to look over their back look over their shoulder you know what i'm saying and i feel like this cancer is going to be vindicated in this situation where there's two cancers um for doing the right thing and standing up i feel like this, this is a cancer where the the angelic cancer has wanted to mend things in some type of a relationship they wanted to mend things um they they didn't want to keep drama up 
Now, it's either there's a Cancer who knew that either some drama was being kept up between a Gemini and a Sagittarius, or this is a Cancer that knew that people were trying to cause discord against a Gemini and a Sagittarius. And this Cancer has been the one that has really been going to bat, standing up. They've even cut these people off. Um, they don't, they, they just protect their peace. That's just what I'm getting. Like whoever this other angelic cancer is in this situation, they are just not about the drama and they're not about that. Like they're not about doing all that fighting and stuff. And this could even be a situation where there was someone who tried to get this Gemini and this uh, Sagittarius like jumped or beat up or something like that, or to ambush them. And this cancer did not want to have parts in that because I feel this cancer is just like, I don't do that. And I feel this cancer really looked at this Gemini and the Sagittarius as their friends. And they're like, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to negatively impact their career. I'm not going to negatively um, try to like physically harm them. I'm not going to do anything that's going to sabotage my connection or my, my relationship with these people because I genuinely like them. I genuinely love them. So this could, be, this could be a family dynamic or this could be a friend group dynamic or this could be in some type of industry or business or something where there's a, um, th there's a good angelic cancer who has really been like standing up and speaking up and being very avid and passionate about doing the right thing so for those of you who are on the the I guess the side of being negatively influenced by this situation that's going on if it pertains to you whether you are this Gemini this Sagittarius and your career has been severely like um dismantled or uh hurt or if you are someone that has a Cancer, North Node, Cancer, Venus, Cancer, South Node, or Cancer, Mercury, and someone has been negatively impacting you, you do have another Cancer individual sun sign here out of the, you know, of of the two individuals' energies that I'm picking up strongly that has really been going to bat and standing up and trying to do the right thing. And um, someone who's really been standing up for uh, essentially whatever has been being done wrong against you, you have someone who has been standing up and really speaking out avidly about like, that's not right. Or that they're not going to participate in that. You know what I'm saying? So there is someone who has been having your back. Okay. Um, now the, the other negative influence energies that I'm feeling here could be, there's an Aries and a Pisces that partnered up to sabotage, um, a connection. And I feel like the Pisces was the one that influenced um this this aries to go along with sabotaging the situation there's a negative libra and then that i feel like the main puppeteer over this entire situation's energy feels like a scorpio energy that is the main puppeteer um that has been negative and negatively influencing all of the, the the drama now besides that it could be a situation where some of you are dealing with one cancer who did sabotage your career or your life or or something um your love and romance life or whatever this is but this could be a cancer that has like turned over a new leaf and now they want to do the right thing they want to reconcile and they could want to mend things with either a gemini or a sagittarius or they want to now uh, all of a sudden no longer um listen to this scorpio who's been trying to keep this division and discord going on between a gemini and a sagittarius and they want to um they want to think for themselves and they want to mend something because there's either there's something significant going on either there's a gemini and a sagittarius that have been um separated okay and there could be a gem uh, a cancer influence that wants to mend this relationship between these two people or there's a cancer that wants to mend a family dynamic and the main influences here of energies that are sticking out has to do something with mending with the gemini and a sagittarius so either someone has purposely caused discord between the gemini and a sagittarius and this cancer wants to be the one to mend things now or it's just a dynamic where a group of individuals who were all friends a cancer gemini sagittarius were all friends but now they're no longer friends you know what i'm saying and these two people careers have been negatively impacted and a cancer could want to come and mend things all together with everyone um, and, and get back on good terms or good space or be family again or something like that or just meant a family connection this could even be a situation where maybe if it was like you were like outcasting your family or you were like let's say if you were born out of an extramarital affair or something like that and then it's like you've had family members who never wanted to make you feel a part of the family but there's that one person who 
would essentially, for example, be this cancer energy who's been always trying to fight on your behalf to like, let's invite this person to Christmas. Let's reach out to this person. Let's give this person a birthday gift. You know what I'm saying? Like, like you could have someone in your family that's going to bat for you. If this is a company situation and th- then, and you have been done wrong in a the company, there's been this cancer who's been sticking up for you, who's been saying like, you know, we should hire this person for this. Or, you know, I know a, a, a person who would be good for that job. You know, I feel like there's a cancer going to bat for you for that. Um, if it's any other type of situation, I just kind of feel like um, there's a cancer that's essentially going to bat to uh, try to either recommend or reconcile some type of relationship or connection with these two people or to put these two people back together or to help these people come together Um, because they see that these two people are either meant to be together if this is love and romance or if this is family wise it's like mending the relationship between these two family members or mending a friendship or or just um, fixing a situation because someone was either um, negatively impacted career wise and someone either lost their job or someone lost an opportunity and never even received it because of some type of uh, competition that other individuals did to to negatively influence these two people from even having an opportunity that they were supposed to get which was never given to them now in another instance as well too which is a whole other story okay I don't know if this goes along with this or this is just another message I picked up I picked up that there could be a shady uh physician okay I mean I'm getting like malpractice or or misdiagnosis someone told someone that they had cancer so you're either a Gemini or a Sagittarius there could have been a doctor who told you that you had cancer and you never had cancer and this is going to be revealed you never had cancer and I'm hearing like a rare form of cancer or some sh- something like that and so you could have had a doctor that had you went to the doctor and they told you you had a rare form of cancer gave you the prognosis of like your you know the your ex- your life expectancy and all this bull crap and this may have been a situation where you may it may have been in your best interest to get like a second third fourth fifth sixth seventh opinion or something like that don't know how many opinions that you went to get but it just feels like someone purposely gave you the wrong information okay in another instance this could be a situation where someone lied to like a friend or a lover of yours to to mess up a relationship with you and they told them that you had a rare form of cancer and this resulted in someone end up leaving you and that energy around that was a Scorpio energy when it was all said and done a Scorpio had a Scorpio was involved so this was either a Scorpio doctor who gave you some misdiagnosis or I guess that's a form of malpractice because they purposely did it or this is a Scorpio who um, told someone else that you had a rare form of cancer and then this individual ended up leaving you because of that and I, the only thing that I picked up was that this this Scorpio either wanted to be able to come in and give you some type of opportunity or the Scorpio didn't want you to get some type of opportunity that you were supposed to get.